talk to you about the DCNM 11 Fabric Builder. Jumping right in here off the home page, what we can see are all the fabrics that we've previously defined. I'm going to go into this VXLAN EVPN fabric and show you quickly that the fabric settings show what type of fabric this is. This is a point-to-point -point fabric. It's an OSPF fabric. It's got a BGP ASN of 65535. We've got advanced options here. The fabric definition comes from a template, and these are things that can be extended in the future. Within my fabric, basically, I can see whether my devices conform to the definition of this type of fabric as computed by DCNM. In this case, I've got one switch which is out of sync with my expectations. Now, the expectations can be viewed via right click. We've got a variety of options here. We can set the role for the switch. We can change the operational mode. We could pair the switch for VPC. We can manage interfaces, view and edit the policies, look at the history, and deploy config for the individual switch. The other thing that we've got in the Fabric Builder is an ability up at the top here to use Save and Deploy to recalculate the configuration for the entire fabric and make sure that we've got a consistent EVPN fabric definition in our expected config. As this calculation is ongoing, we see here that many of our switches are, are in sync with expectations. We do have one switch that's out of sync, and that has a difference of six lines. These lines are on interface Ethernet 1.1, and the actual line which is out of sync is this description test. But all of these lines will be pushed. Our expected config for the entire switch can be viewed here. And the current config is also available in the preview. We can go ahead and deploy this configuration. This deployment's done across all switches, but as we see, only one needed deployment, and those commands have been successfully deployed. Here, if we look at the history for the switch, we can see that we've got some underlay config, which has been pushed. And we can also look at previous configuration. Here we've got some base configuration that was earlier pushed to the switch. This save and deploy can be used for underlay as well as overlay config. If your configuration on the overlay side has been done for a, a bulk set of switches, this is a fast way of pushing that config down for everything, for all the switches all at one time. As we see at this point, our fabric is fully in sync with our expected config for our VXLAN fabric, and we are all green. Mm -hmm.